We are at a point in time in our history where the urgency around black life is all time high and critical for everybody. Between the world and me, for black folks, it's an affirmation of things that they kind of inherently know inside their souls. For the vast majority of American history, and some would argue even up until today, black people either have had no voice or they've had a very diminished one. The plunder of the black body is literally as American as apple pie. There's that moment, and we've all been there as black people, when you're pulled over, when you even, even see a cop car, your heart starts beating. That's the pain of the reality of living in America. If you're black, you were born in jail. Son. The title sort of struck me. There's the world out there, and then there's me, and I'm trying to interpret that for my son. I think it's a hard time for black and white people. We are functioning these days as tribes, not as American citizens who live in the same country, but as tribes within tribes within tribes. In America, it is traditional to destroy the black body. This opportunity to speak through ta vision was something that I, I, I didn't want to pass up. Directing Oprah. What happened on camera was remarkable and astonishing. But what was really beautiful is our, our conversation and we were talking about the film. She knew the book back and forth and she was asking about specific lines and asking about Dr. Jones and I shared with her it was Felicia Rashad and you know she just teared. Embodying the hurt of this mother. I thought about myself growing up in Houston, Texas and there was segregation, lots of it. <laughs> Racism isn't just about black people and white people. It's about dividing humanity, period. It's sad, it's sick, and look where we are because of it. Shooting on campus in DC, the memories he talks about in the book, to actually relive them visually, it was something personally exciting. I was too nostalgic. We came out of here and we wanted to, in our work, after we left Howard, to do this type of collaboration. I really got the crew going with the H-U call. H-U? You know. Hey, you know, exactly. We just had to get everyone acclimated. I thought Susan just got it. I love when she says federal, federal power, power and black power. She lights up the screen with passion and energy. To shoot that there with Cam and bring it back to Howard is just, you know, it's a powerful, powerful moment. It is our responsibility to leave this world in a better place than we received it. And that's what's important for future generations. Black is not just one thing. Black is beautifully complex. We are everyone, we are everywhere, we are everything. And that's what makes us dope. What's needed is a conversation that has not yet happened. This film version of the book is a call to action. I'm actually talking about putting boots to the ground to really make change. We're not just gonna wait to see what happens. We're actually going to do something. Because it won't be all right until we make it all right. This moment is challenging us to make a world real that does not yet exist except in our minds and in our spirits. The veil has been pierced in a way that people can actually hear it.